A Hillsborough man testified Wednesday about how a gun was allegedly put to his head and the trigger was pulled, causing him life-threatening injuries and the loss of his eye, following a dispute with a neighbor over a $2,000 loan. Jonathan Harris testified in Highland County Common Pleas Court that on December 15, 2010, defendant Jimmy Jacobs entered his Hillsborough home and shot him in the face. Jacobs was indicted in March on charges of attempted murder, felonious assault, and aggravated burglary. The defense is alleging that Harris is the one who pulled the gun and that Jacobs acted in self-defense. These are the facts of the case. The defendant shot Jonathan Harris with the intention of killing him and in fact told him, I'm going to come kill you before he went. As he approached, Mr. Harris reached behind his right hand, pulled out a revolver and pointed it at him. At this point, Mr. Jacobs is a short distance in front of him. Mr. Jacobs took his cane and struck the arm that held the gun, and in the process, losing his balance, fell into John Harris. The fact that Jim Jacobs is involved in, in this wounding uh, is undisputed. If he hadn't gone over there, if he hadn't gone into the skirmish or scuffle, uh, Mr. Harris wouldn't be wounded. The question uh, for you at the end of the case will be whether or not when he struck out with his cane, he began what may be a, a tussle between people with completely unequal physical characteristics. Did he do so with the intent or with the knowledge he's going to cause serious physical harm, or did he do it because he was afraid uh, that he would face deadly force if he didn't do something? Witness Mark Puckett testified that he was on the phone with Harris when he was allegedly shot by Jacobs. Instead of speaking with me, he did not say hello. He said, if this is about money, Jim, I'll get your money, Jim. He mentioned Jim's name twice. And then what happened? And then I heard, but I thought, I didn't even recognize what it was immediately, but I heard two gunshots. We obviously told him he was going to tell me to stand with guns. He put a gun in my head right here, and uh, I said, uh, if this is about money or something like that, baby, uh, Jim, I, I can get you the money. And he just pulled the trigger. Jurors heard testimony Wednesday from witnesses at the scene, law enforcement officers, and forensic scientists. The state rested its case Wednesday, and the defense weakened presentation of its case on Thursday. Jurors are expected to begin deliberating by the afternoon.